Okay, back. Um, yeah, so I went to the video game market in London. Um, previous one, which was in Doncaster, it was snowing. I couldn't literally get out my door. I looked at the, obviously, the, the weather forecast, the roads. I thought, you know, literally Devon to Doncaster. You know, it's normally, what, five hours, six hour trip? Um, yeah, and one of my friends said it took him from where I live to Exeter was like five times the amount of time to get there. And I'm like, no thanks. So I couldn't go. But yeah, so I was sort of relying on sort of to sell some stuff there. And obviously to pay for my car, pay for my laptop and all that jazz. But I didn't go. But I was able to survive. I basically didn't buy a laptop, but I was able to get a new car. But I took my, yeah, my, my sort of first car, the, car, the new car on the trip um, up to Video Games Market in London. Um, stayed at sort of near Heathrow. Um, the hotels weren't too pricey, but the parking was obviously you had to pay for parking. Um, drove into London. Um, I'm trying to think. Here we got what stuff have I got there? Yeah, drove in, drove into London. Uh, yeah, it's a really really good event. Um, we were in a sort of little back room. So you had the main hall and a sort of little back room. So lots of people missed us, even though we had massive signs and clearly there was like another room. Um, the traffic wasn't as much as I thought it would be, but yeah, I've seen people seen obviously spend all the money by the time they got to us. Um, I had loads of PS1 games, PS2 games for sale. I took like a turtle nez with me. Basically, none of my big stuff sold, but all the little stuff did. So I'm not sure whether obviously I thought every time everyone spoke about London, you know, everyone's got like lots of money in London. People, yeah, loads, there's loads of people from the from the continent as well. Those are French people, Spanish people. Um, obviously taking money because um, they've obviously the pound so shit and the euro is quite good so they're, they're coming over there get, get some bargains um, yeah but it's just mainly all the little stuff uh, PS1 and PS2 games were sort of yeah were flying out um, not much of my Super Nintendo stuff went so it was a really weird event really weird event so um, I think there might be too many video games markets um yeah, I think there might be too many of them now. Before, I guess, yeah, two or three years ago, there's maybe one a year, and then maybe two. But now you've got London, you've got Doncaster, you've got a few others. Uh, I think other other people um, are trying to do their own little local ones as well. So before you know it, it's going to be like ten of them a year. And obviously, with all us collectors, I don't think there's many, there's only probably excellent, you know, every year it's probably excellent, you know, 10% collectors. But because we all go to like different ones, there's going to be less people spending money at each one so it's getting it's getting yeah i think it's getting about too many i, I was even given a leaflet for one um in essex by yeah a little leaflet for essex like games market um i've actually seen the leaflet over there so i'm not sure if they're anything to do with the people who run the video games market so whoever these these guys are J. GC Retro Gaming Fair, the new gaming market in Essex. Joystick Game Club. Yeah. So I said Essex. Two pound entry. That's a long fucking way. Yeah, so I won't be going to that, but there we go. Yeah, so I've was giving those leaflets out. So there's more of them like popping up everywhere. Um Lots of the collectible ones have sort of been like combined into like video games ones because it's all seen to be all collectibles. So you've got that market as well. So yeah. So well, it didn't take as much as I thought it would. None of the big stuff sold, but what, you know, the little stuff did. But the little stuff was really easy to replace, as you probably see in my next video. Anyway. So as always, I went round and bought stuff. <laughs> There's quite a lot, obviously, I guess, proper traders and dealers like me. I only do like one or two a year. Um, unlike Doncaster, you obviously see people selling their personal collections for the sake of like a, ta a table on that. They sort of save, save the eBay, PayPal fees and posting, so it's easy to just take it all to the video game market. I think there's only, what, two two or three of us like that? Um, lady next to me, she was lovely. She was set, had some stuff. And this is what I got from her. I was trying not to spend money before I, before I opened, but... Um, so I got, um, yeah, Game Boy Pockets. So really good condition, red and black. And later on the event, I got a Game Boy Advance from her after I actually took some money. So I thought, sorted. Um, these were 40 quid each. I think she actually did me a deal because I got these. This game. 
Did they get Vandal Hearts? Yeah, I think Vandal Hearts as well. A world class leaderboard, not in the best condition. Oh, sorry, I think I just got that from somewhere else. Yeah, I think I got that from somewhere else for four quid. Anyway, I sort of went round before I know it, I spent like 200 quid. Yeah, I think that was 40 quid as well, 4, 8, 12, and then there was that one, there was this one, and some other other little bits. Before I know it, I spent 200 quid even before, even before I took any money. But really happy to get these in the collection. Um, luckily, I had a photo of my cabinet and realised I do not have these versions or even a black one. So they're going to go straight into the cabinet. Oh, yeah, the, the, other, the other money was... Um, there's a guy next to me. Oh, I completely forgot. You know, he's so sorry. Um, and he did. It might actually be that, actually. <laughs> if you got fucking moved. <laughs> oh, that might actually be here. Console Protectors by Retro Empire UK. So I was able to get some, you know, I got I got some NES Mini ones. Um, yeah, SNES Mini and NES Minis. Um, Game Boy, Game Boy ones. So hopefully they may do them, or they may do the ones in my cabinet, and some SP ones. So yeah, I've got a few SPs over there. And with me deciding to move house, I think some of these protectors would be would be a bit better to protect it for when you're moving house than the usual dents and bumps. Yeah, so I spent what 50 quid, 50, 60 quid on that one. Yeah, so that was just, it was a good event. I bought some other stuff from her. Um, I think there's one item I purchased. I oh, know, yeah, I bought some um, Pokemon games from her. She had really good, uh, cheap games. I think they were like 20 quid each, like Pokemon. Was it red, yellow, some of the other ones? Um, I think some were 15 quid, some were 20 quid. So I thought, you know, I'll sell them at a local event for like 25 or 30 quid, just cart only. So I thought, you know, I'll get them. I could sell them. I actually put them out on the table, but no, nobody actually purchased them there. But, but it's really weird. All the stuff that... That would not wouldn't normally sell like down my way, sold. <laughs> All the stuff I would expect to sell like locally, like didn't sell up there. It was just, it was really weird. Like I said, it was a really weird event, really weird event. But really happy to get stuff like that. Um, box protector, yeah, the Game Boy protectors, and that was it. I think. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. The date. Well, in the morning we thought it's on it. We're, we're gonna go car booting it. So we went car booting it. Um, and this is what she got. Hullisham, Hullisham, Hullisham. Uh, basically, yeah. So we went to the car boot and it was like a five minute drive from the hotel. <laughs> got there. Um, it's quite a good setup car boot, actually. It was like, oh, you had all the traders on the outside, so you literally just, just don't bother with those jokers. Um, it's really obviously misty, cloudy, and foggy, so I've never seen a thing. And suddenly, <laughs> You know, fucking hell! Like, what the fuck? Obviously, it's a play going over. You know, fucking hell! There's a play going over every fucking minute. But the loudest noise ever. You know, fucking hell! Get your mind out. Live here. <laughs> we're like, what the fucking hell? Me and my mate were like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> never heard. Obviously, we, we never hear a plane or anything. We just hear fucking birds. Birds were in. <laughs> So we're like, it was so funny. We were like, whoa. Like, you know, people are looking at us thinking, who are these, fucking, who are these clowns? <laughs> who are these country boys? <laughs> anyway, yeah. The fucking car was full with all stuff. Anyway, we went to the car boot and we bought some more stuff. We could, we could, even, we could, we could barely drive. I had stuff in my lap. My mate had stuff in his lap. I could just see the mirror. And we were looking at each other thinking, why the fuck do we do this? do this to ourselves? Why? But um, I thought they, you know, they better be not anything big, so I got a few big things. But everywhere had nerf guns, so I was picking up some nerf guns. I keep seeing people with the nerf guns. Oh! <laughs> okay! I literally, I keep seeing people, obviously, on other YouTube channels. They get like nerf guns for fun. Um, yeah, so I got all this for 15 quid. I don't want to pump anymore. Good thing I found was they had some bullets that were sealed. So I probably knew they probably were, you know, minimum five quid each. I thought, oh, result, I'll be able to bundle them up. Let's do like everyone else. Look at this way, I like shoot myself in the face. Yeah, lots of bullets.
So this is on the flat. Yeah, this is like a bag for the bullet. So I thought, oh, result. Completely forgot about them. Forgot about these. So they were 15 quid. And my mate, um, yeah, he was there. He was like, I saw him. We're, we're basically like, no, let's not get anything big. Let's only get DVDs and games. And I saw him with a bag of Nerf guns. I'm like, oh, we're buying Nerf guns. I go, they're never going to fit in the car. And he's like, oh, we're going for well for him. So I go, oh, I want to see some Nerf guns. He's like, did you? So I, so I ran and got these fuckers. And so I got a better bundle than he did. But yeah, some really cool ones there. I, literally, I know nothing about Nerf guns. So I just know everyone walks around with Nerf guns for fun. But they'd be an easy sell on, I think. And you can see they're fucking working. Fucking <laughs> PayPal. I don't know what to do with these fuckers anymore. I'm going to have no room for them. Um, I also picked up some Pokemon cards. Um, there's like one random one left. Um, Pokemon cards. I think it was Fiverr I paid for. But I just sold it on Video Games Market for like 15 quid. I think it's 15 quid or so. So I made a tenner on it. Um, to one of the traders. Um, I completely forgot he was going to be there actually. So next I've got loads of Pokemon cards for him. That I've picked up. Even if it was you know, 50 quid it will give me 150 quid. Because he'll go to all these events. And they probably are worth about 175 to 200 pounds, but I literally haven't got the time, I've got the room to sort of sort them out um, and to sort of research them. So it's just easy for me to pick up and just take them to him and he'll and it will just sell on. Um, yeah, I've got a PSP Killzone Liberation. Um, what else did I get there? I did get some other stuff, but I'm not quite sure what I got because I haven't organised that bag. Yeah, they were, oh, they were, sorry, they were other PS1, PS2 games and stuff, and they actually went straight onto the table, so I was already, already pricing them up. Already pricing them up. Um, yeah, I think that was it, sort of from, from yeah, from that car boot. I'm sure there was other stuff. Um, I'm not sure I've actually done those board games in a previous video. But I remember thinking I might not be able to get them in the car. I'm looking at stuff over there, thinking I've actually, I've actually done that in a previous video. I wouldn't bother with doing them. Yeah, so that was that trip to Video Game Market. And yeah, good weekend. I got some games. Um, got some Nerf guns. Obviously, for me to sort of test to sell, to resell on. Um, cause I come across them so many times. So it would be good to get yeah, bring some more extra, extra cash in. And yeah, the event. Yeah, the event was good. Not as good as Doncaster. Um, quite a lot of the YouTube community that I normally see at Doncaster weren't at the London one, so I didn't see any of the YouTubers. So yeah, I didn't see any of you guys there. So I f saw a few people on the forums and that. But yeah, so this is going to be the end of this video, and I got one massive car boot pickup. I mean, yeah, so it's going to take a while. So I need to clear the table, and yeah, do that. So I'll be back in a minute.